Newswatch Sports is brought to you by Sports Vision, a new way for you to view local sports. Well, it was there for the taking, the Bradley Central Bears in their first state tournament since 1982, two games away from ending their quest with a state title, their first since 1962. The Bears came into Friday's semifinal game against Gallatin, riding a 22-game winning streak, hoping to extend the streak to Saturday. Well, mission accomplished. The Bears outlasted the Green Wave 51 to 46, setting a brawl for it all on Saturday against the White Station Spartans, a team which had come up short in the championship game in 96 and 98. Unfortunately, as Bradley found out, the Spartans would not be denied a third time. Josh Hare and the Bradley Bears looking to get jiggy with it early in the semis against Gallatin. If the Bears were to win, they would have to do it against a hostile Green Wave crowd that was rowdy early. DJ Boone feeds it to Anthony Holder for the long J and Gallatin strikes first blood. Then it would be Boone inside the spin move and the layup. And Gallatin would open the game with an 8-0 run. The Bears come back. Patrick Spangler, he's going to steal it right here, take it coast to coast for the layup and gets Bradley on the board. Then Zach Carpenter, great D inside. He's going to slap the ball away. Stacy Scott picks it up and drives all the way in for the layup, and the Green Wave lead is cut to three. Inside the huddle, Coach Kent Smith trying to fire his team up, but it's Gallatin responding on the break. Jeremy Bartlett finds Ryan Dixon in the green wave. Go up seven. Spangler would answer for the Bears from long range. The three, it's good. The lead is four. Green wave answer once again. Holder, he's going to find Bartlett inside. Gallatin goes up six. Back and forth, Shea Blair hits the three in a crowd. But Gallatin will answer, breaking the press and finding Wesley Morgan for the big jam. And Gallatin would go up by five. Then off the miss, Josh Hare grabs the rebound. Nice wraparound pass to Stacy Scotton for the layup. But once again, the Green Wave had an answer. DJ Boone hits the J just inside the arc. The lead's still five. Bears finally go on a run. Hare spins inside, hits the short jumper. The Green Wave heads to the locker room with a 22-21 lead. Everyone, and I mean everyone, fired up for the second half as Bradley takes control. Zach Carpenter with the freshly baked finger roll. The Bears take the lead. Then it's Shea Blair knocking down the tray, and Bradley goes up five. Then Josh Hare, he's going to drive, dips inside, and hits on the short jumper. Then Hare back down in the post. He's going to back his man down and hits the jumper. And my man is fired up. Now it's Stacy Scott and inside with the reverse. And when the smoke cleared, Bradley would be up 13 after three. Coach Smith taking it easy, but Gallatin makes one more push. Jeff Crook hits the long three. It's not the shoes, it's the sideburns. But it's too little, too late. The three won't fall, and the Bradley Bears would be headed to the state tournament finals. And in the finals, they would take on White Station. Bradley Central fans out in force for this one, looking for their first state title in almost 30 years. This one, a disaster from the opening tip. The Spartans blow out to a big lead. Horace Thomas opens things with a three-pointer. Then it's Fred Harris. He's going to go in for the layup. Ernest Shelton. He's coming up right here. Another three-pointer, and you can kind of see where things are going from here. Harris follows his own miss. The Spartans fired up. Then here comes Shelton again driving. Hits the J. Spartans up 12, and the house is rocking. Stacy Scott from his knees finds Shea Blair for the layup, and Bradley finally gets on the board. The Spartans would not be denied. Shelton hits another three and draws the foul, and the big lead would get even bigger. Harris pulls his way inside, hits the jumper, and it's 18 to 12. Fred Harris says it's over. But the Bears would claw back. Zach Carpenter hits the J, and they weren't done yet. The Bears would go on the break. Stacy Scott takes it the distance, and the lead is cut 